Hi, it's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kurt. Welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel. On today's video, we are going to be checking out Dreamweaver. Uh, now, I'm not sure if it's Dreamweaver's the song and it's Neo Soul is the band, or if it's Neo Soul's the song and Dreamweaver's the band. It's one of those ways around, but I'll make sure when we do the edit and we put it in the title, it's correct. Andy, um, we'll know that, that English thrash band from the 80s, Sabbat. They had an album called Dreamweaver, didn't they? Thank you for that, Kirk. I appreciate you that to the comic. He does know it. That came to my mind as well, but I've never heard Sabbat. Oh, okay. No. I know they've got an album called Dreamweaver. Well, is this is only for the band of Dreamweaver and it's Neo Soul. I will definitely check it out before the end of the video. But we're going to go check out this video. Um, I know nothing about it. So uh, this will be a completely blind reaction for all of us. And we'll share our thoughts and feelings of the and review of the track at the end. Let's do it. Right, there we go. Dream Reaver, Neo Soul. Uh, okay, over to you, Andy. Your thoughts on this? So, you, you think Dream Weaver is the name of the band? 
Or are you still not sure? Uh, I haven't looked it up. I was too busy watching. Oh, the I thought video, you did. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I would. That's so. I don't know, I'd say the song was called Dreamweaver, and the band's called Neo Soul, based on the way it's it's put up on the screen. But oh, okay, I'll find out yeah, by the time I do the edit. <laughs> all right. Okay. I mean, that's that's my sort of thing, and it that that's 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 my musical all day long. That's sort of the the beauty in the beast, gothic metal female male vocals that, that was really really good um wasn't expecting that at the, you know from the very outset to be honest um but yeah it's really really good the video reminded me of this lawn chair yeah with uh, that following. was where this eventually came from as a as i was when i was trying to find white room videos and That's i came it. across lawn chair youth I'd already found this video and a couple of oh. other ones, and then yeah. I found Launch Air Youth. So this was sitting in the backdrop before I we did that video set last week. Yeah, so this is obviously the same same sort of format, although they have got multi camera angles and it's you know in color, unlike the uh, the ones yeah. we've seen from that from that other group. But yeah, I, I thought the the both vocalists were, were really good. You know, typical of that particular genre. The male vocals were, were too low in the mix when they were singing yeah. together. I found. Um, good to hear the bass up up there in the mix, front and center. That you know that was, was kind of driving the song, and I like the keyboards and the synths that were occasionally sort of backing everybody up. Obviously, that's a backing track, or you know, they have, he's not you know the, whoever performs that is not is one of the members of the band and not somebody who sort of comes in. But yeah, I could listen to that all day long. Yeah, I'll be I'll be sort of looking forward to finding more of their stuff because that was really really good. Um, and hopefully you've got some info about who they are or, or Kurt's probably reviewed their album. He probably knows all about them, but that was, <laughs> I'm going to take a guess they're British just by, you know, the look and the delivery of the, of the vocals yeah. particularly. I'd, I'd say they're a British band, but I really, really enjoyed that. That's my sort of thing. Very good. Uh, Kirk, what do you reckon? So this is not my type of music and the, the contradiction at the heart of this music is when you're playing these monstrous down tune riffs, you need aggression in the vocals. And those soprano vocals do not suit this music. Now, I understand with art that contradictions often work, don't they? Here, it doesn't. If anything, it's like I, I reviewed an album by an Italian band called Secret Rule three weeks ago. They're, in a, they're, they're, they're quite popular. And they're like a heavier version of Evanescence. You know, and the guitar players need to really make their riffs count in the first 30 seconds. And it's the same with this here. As soon as those vocals come in, it's almost like you've got a floppy disk and you've just formatted it and wiped everything off it. Nothing wrong with the vocals. It's just not suited to this type of music. So I understand why they needed that, that male backing vocal and that presence needed to be louder in the mix. Andy pointed it out, didn't he? I just it never does anything for me, this music, because those contrasts are irreconcilable. There's some really interesting guitar shapes in there. You know, he's playing in drop A, that that late '90s tuning that obviously Corner famous for. You, there's some really, there's some really heavy stuff going on. Good groove in the drums. The vocals do not suit that music, and that's why gothic metal never does anything for me. It's a contradiction that can never be resolved, and I've not heard a band that can do it. And here's another example. Some great ideas. No way can they execute them. It's like you've got two different bands merged together and they don't know what they want to do. That guitar player is wearing the ice hockey jersey at the end. He just wants to be playing in a band like Mortician or Suffocation. You know, be happy just playing caveman riffs, chugging on the bottom strings. And then you've got the vocalist who clearly would never listen to music like that. And she probably wants to be in a band like Infected Rain. So... I just could not get behind that music. It's I like the groove, but it's just so disparate. Sorry, the elements are so disparate. I just cannot see any congruence to it. Like before you you pick it up, you know, obviously we've all got our own taste in it, Kurt, but you know they're not setting anything. They're not sort of doing anything new. You know, it's been done many times before. Long history of bands like this, so. Plenty of bands think it does work, and plenty of people who listen to it think it does work. I mean, do you, do you, it, are you saying it doesn't work, or are you just saying it doesn't doesn't resonate with you? The mixture of the styles of 
the soprano female vocals and the down tuned guitars and the you know the, the heavy riffs you just don't think it works for you or just don't think it works for all those multiple multiple bands that have tried it and and made a successful career out of it yeah good Since question like, and started, yeah happy you know, to answer all, it all these, even the in the beast band mainly from europe you know it's, it's a, as you say it's a genre in itself yeah good question happy to answer it uh it doesn't work for me i think yeah. it's good for our viewers that you pointed that out that's not me saying this genre is a failure it's why i can't get into it so yeah i appreciate why you would ask that and i'm happy to say it is just my preferences you're right clearly you know you look at mainland europe there are hundreds thousands of these bands and clearly many people do like it so yep i would like to just point out that's my <laughs> personal opinion that it's a contradiction i think doesn't work thousands hundreds of thousand people would disagree with me wouldn't they okay so from my point of view on this song uh i kind of agree with andy on this one overall uh good solid track i mean yeah the male the male female set up lacuna coil similar sort of setup clean vocal throughout he comes in and does a bit of the heavier vocals in lacuna coil exactly what we got here song was very predictable in its structure so you knew at the end of that second big chorus you knew there was going to be a breakdown coming at that point you knew his vocals were going to be taking over the lead at that point so it is very predictable uh they did they execute what they did very well my challenge for this band is the same as every band unfortunately in this world where there is so much access to music what is it that makes you stand out because there's nothing to make them stand out from the rest of the pack visually i agree with that as well there's yeah. four different people that well five people on that was it four people or five people four people on that stage that could have been in any you could have picked them out and put them in any other band because they didn't look like a band they looked like four people playing a song in a in a white room there was no continuity there was no visual connection to make me go this is a band i'm going to get into and unfortunately now that has become a big thing we've seen this with a lot of bands there's bands are becoming more uniformed in their look the older bands the legacy bands are because they've got a legacy to to lean back on but the newer bands that are kicking through and we've seen it for years with bands like ghost rammstein we've seen it now with sleep token it's something that's more of a visual and you can connect on it. it's not just about the musical element if your musical element is so much different than anyone else is doing, you can rely on it. But if you are going to go down this route where you're playing stuff that a lot of other bands are doing, you need to have a visual. And we've seen that with bands like Lacuna Coil. Lacuna Coil have a visual. They don't go out in random. Avatar, they come out in uniformity. There's a visual key. And I'd like to see more bands doing that. If you want to, If you want to step away from just putting a track out, that's a good track but you want to be more noticed you've got to do some sort of something visual that's going to get you saying i'm going to i'll remember you because i won't remember that band apart from going uh female male singer yeah okay but there's nothing i can't won't remember much about it but in a week's time but i did like the track um i just think they need to do more and if you're going to do white screen or white room backlight it You've got a backlight behind you or you get shadows across the whole bloody thing. And it's awful having a white screen shot where your shadows are in there because what they've done is they front lit it. And then what you get is all the shadows behind the amps, shadows on the back wall. And it's it's not a good way to do it. You just have to make sure you have a, a light above and you light all that up and then you put your front ones to light up and then you get the back shadows. And it's great. It looks awesome. So that's just a tip if you're going to do shooting in a white room. Don't make sure you backlight everything. Uh, but yeah, no, very interesting. Uh, they are called Neo Soul and the song's Dreamweaver. So there you go. Uh, if you, are, you enjoyed our video today, please do like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments down below and we'll see you on another video sometime very soon. Take care.